Well, there's a lot of different reasons for using CMOS. It's a great productivity tool. It helps you when you're doing a reservoir simulation, or reservoir study, I should say. It helps you do a sensitivity analysis on what the, what the parameters are that are important to your simulation so you can identify them and then concentrate them. Uh, it does assisted history matching, and then let me be key on this word, assisted. It doesn't do it for you, it, it helps you to do it. So it gives you a lot of different instances of a simulation. So you can go through all these instances, it does it automatically so you don't have to sit there and input each data deck. It goes through and does them for you, and then you can go and review them, and you can pick out the ones that make the most sense to you. And then you can use those, and not it, but those reservoir simulations that you've chosen to do your optimization and then your uncertainty analysis. So it's a great productivity tool and it also gives you better value for your money. The technology in it opens up an area that really is the sort of thing that appeals to the financial monetary side of oil companies. So the engineers may be unfamiliar with CMOS and the concepts behind it, but I think people further up the management chain really do see the value of that sort of optimization and trying to bracket their uncertainty and know where they're going.